Hey, how's it going guys? This is Justine again, aka Ton and Nemo, and this is my dog Achilles. Say hi, Achilles. So I was supposed to do a recording earlier, but since the rain is falling on the roof and I could hear it from my microphone. So yeah, I couldn't do a proper recording. But hello Achilles, what would you like? Please do not block the camera. Oh, I swear it can be quite the attention seeker from time to time what would you like to say okay you, you okay bye i was supposed to do a recording a while ago but then since i can hear a lot of noises with my microphone i decided to just do a video instead so yeah let me just show you some of the equipments that i use these are all budget-friendly options that you may want to look at as well i'm not saying these are the best but these are the most budget-friendly beginner equipment that I could find. So, yeah. Yeah, I just opened the light because it's becoming pretty dark. Anyway, so first of all, let's start with the microphone. So at the moment, I am using a Samsung C01U Pro. Ta-da! I added this foam just so that it could help um, minimize the noises that I get from the pa ta ta of course, you need to also have a pop filter together with it, but for now, since I'm just here, I'm not recording anything, this would do. So this microphone um, is a USB condenser microphone. If you're in Manila, it's around 5,000 pesos. Uh, I bought it during the pandemic, last 2020. Great mic. It's pretty clear. Over here, it's not able to pick up that much sound it could pick up sound over here in front that's why i'm talking over here so if you find me hiding my face it's because that's where it could pick up the most uh, that's where it could pick up the most sound and also it has this thing an audio jack where you could place your earphones or your monitoring earphones your headphones monitoring headphones um, so that you could hear yourself while you're recording and after you're recording you can hear yourself from here as well it's a usb so you could just plug and play it on your computer or if you have like an adapter for your cell phone a USB adapter for your cell phone you could plug it in there as well that's currently what I'm doing right now I'm using my cell phone to video everything and my microphone is just plugged in to my cell phone at the moment the next thing I want to show you guys is my in-ear um, monitoring earphones this is a TRN ST2 one BA plus one DD. BA is for the bass and the DD is mostly for the... Where is it again? Midtones. As far as I know, as far as I can remember, it's for the midtones and the higher tones. So yeah, so far I've been really happy with this purchase. It's very crisp. Um, I could use it... Well, I could use it for... <laughs> listening to music but then at the same time i could hear my voice properly using this one so i just usually plug it in my microphone um whenever i'm using it so that i could hear myself while i'm talking while i'm doing my reading um and while i'm doing my voiceover or my dubbing etc so this one great purchase i will link all the things i'm using in the description below so you may want to check that out. They're usually mainly in Lazada. Hi, Lazada. I, purch I purchased them mainly in Lazada. Um, what else? Oh, and lastly, the most important thing to have is a DAO. What does a DAO mean again? A DAO is an audio application that you can use where you could actually record yourself edit your your recordings etc mix it if you want add music blah 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 there are two applications that i'm mainly using one is audacity and the other one is adobe audition audacity is free if you're just starting out and you want to try try recording yourself download audacity it's free it's open source you don't have to pay for anything and yeah the interface for it is also pretty easy. You could find a lot of tutorials for it online. Whenever I am recording, um, 
I usually try to remove some of the background noise that I hear as well as, you know, um, normalize the amplitude of my voice. <laughs> yeah, those are the three main equipments that I use. So really, it's pretty easy. There's not a lot of, you know, nitty gritty stuff. As much as possible, I want to keep it as simple as possible whenever I'm recording. So if you are like me, who is a beginner voice actress, voice actor, voice artist, and you're trying to find somebody you could relate to in all the struggles that you are facing in terms of additions, in terms of trying to read better, in terms of trying to find the proper equipment, join the ride. Welcome to the club. And if you find this video helpful or has inspired you to actually start voice acting already, why not give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and again, subscribe. Yeah, follow along the ride. It's a nice one. Whew.